Johnson City, Tennessee. That's where ETSU football is on the air. Uh, so come ends right to left. On first down, handoff. Ingram makes a cut, has a little bit of room across the 25, out to the 29, near the 30. Say the least. These are the two lowest ranked teams in third down conversions. But over the middle, it's caught out across the 35, and the Terriers have their first first down, their third. Nice pitch and catch. 6 3 2 10, big target as well. He's open on the wheel. He throws it underneath, intercepted. Sheldon Arnold running free, and Arnold takes it all the way. A pick on the opening drive. Sealy had the man. He just Sheldon Arnold with the interception return for the score has the Bucks in front. We've got more SoCon football on ESPN. Play. Second and 10, Eller in the gun. Drops the throw, left side looking, and Christian Mathis never turned around for the ball because he couldn't. Penalty flag comes in, and it looks like on second down and six. Eller to throw, looking left, has Huzzy open, complete at the 30, down to the 26-yard line. <laughs> Opening possession, Martin in motion. Hand off Irby, trying to bounce it outside, gets the edge, gets to the 15, shimmy move down to the 10, and it's the split backfield. Snap, Borish keeps himself, and he is dropped well behind the line of scrimmage. Hold. Snap, spot, and the kick is good. And Ewan Johnson, and they shift. Snap. Bootleg right, off his back foot, throws complete to Parker, out of bounds, has the first down. Out around the 37. Th is now second and 15. Seeley, swing pass, complete out the left side, around the corner, 35-37, flat. Seeley in the gun. Drops, swings it left side, complete to Smith. Smith gets a block, runs over a defender, but Jenkins able to force. Allow East Tennessee to have a roughing the kicker. Eller on first down, rolling out to his right. Underneath, checks down. Jawan Martin, penalty flag flies. Martin. Ball. I didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy way to get out of that problem. Absolutely. There's a swing pass to Irby. Irby has a block from Huzzy. A penalty flag flies. Irby well short, but not if it ends in a pick. And the handoff is Irby. And Irby has some room. Out to the 30. Shake and make. Hurdles a man to the 40, and he's close. Short run, so both teams need to do a bit. Have, be, excuse me. Be a little bit more successful on first down like that run right there by Irby. On second and nine, Irby knifes his way through the defense. Snap, Eller throws left, complete to Huzzy right near the stick, I think. And video replay kept their offense on the field. Eller, play action, looking out to his right, throws, great leaping catch by Huzzy, has a first down to the 19 yard. Eller on first down. Fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, sliding. Did he catch it? Yes, touchdown! To talk about this, but Bryson Irby sliding at the goal line. Looks to look have pulled this. in the See if he can get a definitive look at the ball from this position. Irby has his hand zone. Eller has Winton in motion. Snap, it's the option play. Pitch out to Winton left side. Winton across the 15, down to the 11-yard line. In with Borish at quarterback. Snap. He keeps it himself, runs right up the middle, touchdown, Zach Borish. His first touchdown kick. is a Borish with the rushing touchdown. Everybody went with Bryce and Irby, and Zach Borish took a free stroll to the back of the end zone. Very well. And they are coming after the punt. It's blocked! Tonquez Ball trying to get a handle on it. The Terriers fall on it at the... Who left that game with a concussion? Second down, Riddle throws left, complete. Winton wrapped up and tackled. Four, Irby the tailback, snap. They give to Irby. He has a crease, he has the 20 yard line, and he has just enough. Sweeney at Clemson. First and 10, Riddle wants to throw, throws right, caught. Huzzy weaving his way inside the 10. So ETSU. No healthy scholarship quarterbacks. Riddle, a walk-on, throwing left inside. It's caught by Huzzy for the touch. And we'll see what the call is. As in a commanding position as Johnson lasers the extra point straight through. And the Bucks are up on the Wofford Terriers. The offense has scored twice. The
Sealy in the gun on third down. Pressure comes in the end zone, gets rid of it. It's nearly intercepted, incomplete. Mike Jenkins got to go with three, with two. He gets the play off, drops the throw. Now has a place to step up, set his feet, and take a shot. And Tommy Witten is wide open at the 22 yard. It was already hit once today. Snap, spot, kick is on the way. And the kick is good. You and John. 33. Riddle in the gun. Huzzy shifts. Snap. Riddle throws. Right side. Huzzy caught. First down. Out to the 40 to the 42 yard line. He's got Irby back there with him. And Foster. Handoff is Irby. He has room around the right side. Left side. 50. 45 40. 35 30. He's gone. Got a block from Tommy Winton and strikes at Irby with a 56 yard house call. Great job setting up. Great job by that left side of the offensive line for East Tennessee State. And the extra point from Ewan Johnson is good. They put in a lot of one-way streets over the last few years. Thir against a good UT Chattanooga team next year. Riddle to throw, looking for Huzzy. One-handed catch at the 40, dragging a man with him to the 29-yard line. Rydell. I look for poise, and right now he's showing poise. 100% Rydell, or rather, <laughs> Riddle steps up and throws complete to Jalen Fruzzy and Winton. Snap, it's the speed option. Riddle, gonna fake the pitch, then he delivers the pitch. Irby gets in the end zone, there's a penalty. And this is coming from the center judge situation. Riddle in the gun. Snap, drops to throw. And he's in trouble, he is wrestled to the ground by Chuck Smith. Stop. That does 97 in white. As Johnson on for a 38 yard field goal try and he pushed it wide left. No cousin is actually Roddy White. Former oh. wide receiver for the Falcons. Wow. Seeley wants to take a shot. Pressure coming from Brantley. Throws right side. Complete. Tough basket catch for Tyler Parker. And he skips through an Arnold. And down and 10 with the clock moving. Coming up on three minutes left in the third quarter. Throw by Seeley out to the left side. Complete one-on-one -on -one with Steven Scott out in the flat. Seeley in the gun. Play action. Look it over the middle. Incomplete. And a penalty for a little bit today. As Seeley drops to pass, looking to his right underneath, complete, and Arnold got up a little bit high, but he all of the time in possession they are allotted. Seeley drops to throw, looking to his right, throws, incomplete. And Jenkins in tight coverage. 47-yard field goal with the wind at his back. Bit of a high snap. The kick is on the way, and the kick is good. And waging it by that. But ETSU has wanted it more for the first 45 minutes as Irby gets another solid carry out to about the 34-yard. Makes it third down and four. At the 46, Seeley throws right side complete. And a first down. But uh, that's just a big plus for them, the second half. Seeley hands off. And a little shake and bake move and another shake and bake as lunging forward gets. And Tonquez ball in the game as well as Arnold drops back single high. And the blitz comes. Pressure for Seeley. Trying to get away. Sneaks away from Hoskins. Throws underneath it. Along with Matthews. And they got a couple other options at tailback. They're exploring. Throw over the middle that time by Seeley is complete to Matthews. And Matthews down to the fifth. Second and 11. Wofford in the red zone. Seeley to throw, has some time, steps up, trying to make a play, gets away from one and finds a man to Jetty with his first TD of the year. He's got a great family background. His mom's a Hall of Fame track and field uh, per, play, athlete at Bowling Green. His dad yep. played He's football. Super athletic family. He came down and had a great career in Savannah, Georgia, playing his high school ball, moving down from Michigan. He got Wofford moving two yards and a touchdown by the way, as he's going to throw here, looking for Winton, and he got him at the 45, out to the 50, and an ankle tackle saves. Game is refreshing. This just feels like a breath of fresh air after the frustration, and there was some emotion in the locker room after the loss to Mercer on homecoming as Foster lunges. Specialty teams have done a great job, too. On first and 10, it's Foster, big hole right side, slips a tackle, 25-20, down to the 15, and a penalty flag comes. Split backfield for Riddle on... First down and five as Riddle takes the keeper. You 
Just a solid all-around 60 minutes today. Handoff is Borish, and Borish has a crease. Borish bounces free, and Zach Borish is in nation point. Second rushing touchdown of the game for Zach Borish. But again, you're going to have to you know, try to tackle him, keep him from scoring. I mean, it's just a simple off-tackle run play, so you can't blame me. With 79 play. seconds left, back to wrap things up after this. Played him much more even this second half, and I'm sure Coach Watson's happy with that. On third down, Seeley rolls out. Seeley looking to make a first down happen with his leg. William & Mary, Presbyterian, VMI, Chattanooga, Sanford, and ETSU. The pass is caught. Tight coverage. By and they go quick. Seeley, low snap. Handoff and stood up and wrapped up behind the line to gain Ryan Steven. 15 seconds left. Seeley to throw. Looking to take a shot down the field. Looking right and throws incomplete. Nuga with a big win like this is much better than it would have had they lost the game. No doubt about it. And the defense set the tone for ETSU. Sheldon ETSU can feel a little bit better about going into Chattanooga and their big rivalry next week with a 41-10 victory.